I am very angry. What kind of government is this that fails to protect its citizens? The ANC government is failing to protect our children. It is failing to protect our women, our elders, our minors. And now it is failing to protect our farmers. 21 years ago, the Kumalo family's joy at finally owning Berflay Farm in Emsefort Mpumalanga was short-lived when their father, who had been a labor tenant on the farm for 25 years, was brutally murdered with pangas. The case has tragically not been solved to date. Farm attacks and murders have since escalated at a rapid pace, with the perpetrators becoming more and more brutal. On Saturday, July 4, 2020, on a farm in Wien and KZN, Zakia Ismail, a 26-year-old mother of two, who was pregnant with a third baby, had her throat slit in front of her children for apparently no reason. Western Cape Tulba community doctor, Rulof Gwerda, sustained multiple fatal stab wounds on his farm on Monday, the 1st of June, 2020. These are but two examples out of the 12 horrendous farm murders since the 1st of April, 2020. The vicious torture which accompanies these farm murders has no color, it has no gender, and it has no age group. The question is, why is this government, and specifically the president, seemingly in denial about these heinous crimes? Why are for murders which affect both workers and the owners not classified as priority crimes and given the focused attention that is needed? Chapter six of the National Development Plan cites agriculture as one of the drivers of the rural economy with the potential to create 1 million jobs by 2030. How will this be possible with the farming community under siege and not receiving the protection that it deserves? The newly emerged Department of Agriculture and Land Reform and Rural Development under Minister Togo Didiza must stop navel gazing and lead the charge in calling for protection of our farming communities. What is the point of having a vision which includes improving food security and safety when there is no robust strategic plan to ensure that this and the rest of the vision actually happens? To the farming community out there, rest assured that the Democratic Alliance stands by you on Stan Bay E. The DA will, when called for, report farm attacks as hate crimes. We will have dedicated DA counselors or activists tracking investigations and court proceedings related to um, all farm attacks and um, report back to the farming community. The DA will work with the agricultural unions and do oversight on farm patrols, assisting them to be organized and formalized. The DA will continue to drive land ownership and the financial support of emerging farmers in order to foster increasing agricultural contribution to the um, economy. The DA will work for an improved SAPS farmer relationships in terms of firearm licenses, firearm training, farm patrols, and perpetrator apprehension in all areas. The DA will continue to push for the establishment of fully, um, fully uh, outfitted specialized units dedicating to promoting, sorry, to protecting our rural communities. The DA will ask that the investigative capacity at rural SAP stations be increased. We will request that SAPs recategorizes rural attacks as priority crimes. And last but not least, the DA will continue to fight the amendment to Section 25 of the, of the Constitution that will allow you, Honorable the without Thank you very much. See, not see.